Hey, what's up, everybody? Comic Quarter 210 coming at you with another comic haul. This haul is a very small haul. Um, I paid 190 bucks for all these books I'm about to show you. I went to a flea market this past Sunday, and guy had such an amazing uh, variety of things, but you can only get what you get, right? But anyways, why don't we just get started? This is uh, We're going to start this one off with Kiss. This is the uh, number five. Uh, photo cover variant. Um, I'm not like a big diehard Kiss fan, but I do like Kiss. Um, grew up loving it because of my uncle and my aunt were huge fans. But um, that's it for that one. And um, going to the Kiss solos number one, uh, the Demon cover. Uh, Gene Simmons, of course. You know, of course he's gonna be the number one. Um, I mean, what can I say from there? It's a good looking book. Um, then number two, uh, the Star Child cover. I don't have three or four with the Spaceman and the Catman, um, but that's definitely on the list now. And uh, these are actually my first Kiss uh, comics. But like I said, hopefully we get to pick up the other two another time. And uh, trying to these next two are going to be Wolverine. Uh, for the Weapon X storyline, uh, this is number 74. Amazing, good-looking cover. I mean, I've always been a sucker for the whole Wolverine and the test equipment and all that with the wires. Uh, I think this is number three in the story. And then we got number 84, number 11 or 12 in the storyline. Um, hopefully gets finished this run sometimes. Love Wolverine. A uh, very iconic character when it comes to comics. And, uh, I mean, shoot, quote, big question is who is he, who is going to be the next Wolverine? I mean, I would have said Tom Hardy, but he's already Venom. I mean, I'm not saying he can't do it, but it's just, you know, the way Hollywood works and all that. But, yeah. Time will tell. Then, uh, Superman 363. Uh, I'm a huge sucker for Lex Luthor when it comes to these cheesy old books. Just because the purple and green uniform, there's just, it's, it, it doesn't, he makes it work for some reason. You know, if you see someone with purple and green walking down the street, that shit don't work. But, um, Lex Luthor, I mean, it's a comic book, so, I mean, yeah. But he makes it work. Like I said, huge sucker for when I come across those Lex Luthor books. And then we got 412. Again, and the armor going up against Superman. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, um, it's just, there's just something about it that, I mean, you got to give him props for trying to toe up with Superman. But, I mean, the whole uniform and all that, that, that don't work either. Uh, starting to do this run, um, Deadpool number one. This is the volume two, uh, back in 2008. Um, usually when I come across this book, because it's been on my list for a while, a good while, man, I've seen this book go easily a hundred dollars, usually 60. The guy had it priced at 40 bucks, and like I said, all these books was like 190 bucks, so. You could tell me if you think I got a deal. I think I got a pretty good deal for all these books. Um, but yeah, Deadpool number one. Uh, amazing cover, amazing cover. This is number two. Then number three. Like I said, I'm planning on going back and finishing this run so I could have my whole Deadpool run in the boxes. And of course, my boy Spider Man. Uh, this is number 229. Um, great cover. Juggernaut cameo. Um, was that uh, Morgan Webb? Not Morgan Webb. Madam Webb. Um, yeah, a lot. Of, like, you know, just f uh, another filler for the Spider Man run. And then, I'm a huge Western fan. And, um, 
these books, I never come across these books. He had quite a selection. And we got Jonah Hex number 22. Um, yeah, like I said, I never ever come across Jonah Hex unless it's like maybe like the late, I mean, well, the new 52 uh, fillers, but like these old Bronze Age ones, I never find them. And like I said, I'm a huge Western fan and love Western movies and all that. I've always been a sucker for the whole Cowboys and Indians. And uh, I mean, Jonah Hex is a great um, comic character. And also like the movie, and eh, it was like, but that's number 22. Then we got, oops, got number 29, another great cover. Um, Funny thing is, he actually had the first appearance of, uh, what's it called, Jonah Hex, and he had CGC, it was 8.5, and I've been wanting that book for, like, years, years, it's always been on my list, and it was there, and he wanted 375 for 8.5, and I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm thinking that's, you know, I'm, I think that's a pretty good, uh, deal, but the thing is, like, I am not really huge on... I mean, I got nothing against people who get nothing but CGC. I mean, I prefer Raw. I got a few CGC books, but there's just something about me personally when it comes to just having it Raw. But, I don't know, man. I'm still thinking about it. I might just end up getting it. So, who knows? You might see a video with it another time. And another great, great killer cover. Number 48. This is the first appearance of Cinnamon. Great, great uh, face cover. Very detailed. And end it with the Ghost Rider number three. I've been seeing people post books about this and it's given me a huge interest in collecting them. So this is my first one, number three, and I plan on getting the other ones because I think it only went to seven, I believe, seven issues. But great like i said western fan um so yeah that 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 is the last book and um thanks for checking out what i got and uh thanks for the comics um uh, comments and making a lot of friends on instagram so trying to keep up with it here and there but um yeah thanks for seeing what i got you know thanks for the comments and like, subscribe, how that whole shebang goes, and thanks for just seeing what I have.